1972, Congresswoman Patsy Mink of Hawaii introduced a simple legislative proposal stating that no person in the United States shall, on the basis of sex, be excluded from participation in, be denied the benefits of, or be subjected to discrimination under any education program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. With the passage of Title IX, now known as the Patsy Takemoto Mink Equal Opportunity in Education Act, a new ERA of opportunity was ushered in for women and girls in America. Title IX ended the days of women being denied admission into academic programs based on their gender. That year, in 1972, just as Title IX was enacted, women earned merely 28% of the bachelor's degrees in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math, but are known as the STEM fields. Today, women earn 49% of the bachelor's degrees in these fields. Title IX shattered the myth that women and girls were not interested in competing in interscholastic athletics. Since the enactment of Title IX, the number of women participating in intercollegiate athletics has increased fivefold. The number of female high school athletes has grown by almost 900 percent. As athletic opportunities for women have increased, their interest has soared. Our professional women's sports leagues are the byproduct of the doors that were opened by Title IX. Despite these successes, we still have work to do to achieve the promise of full equality and freedom from discrimination that is at the heart of Title IX. There are still gaps in support for women's athletics, gaps in participation in various disciplines in the STEM fields, and disparities in career and technical education programs. More critically, there's still much to be done to ensure that our educational institutions are free from sexual harassment. We have seen ongoing efforts to undermine the protection of Title IX through regulation or through litigation. Over the course of the last 35 years, we have learned that we can never take equal opportunity for granted. As we celebrate the success of Title IX, we also must look to the future and the work that remains to be done. In closing, I would like to thank our witnesses for joining us today.